praise the Lord. Hello, Pastor Yami. Good, good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, today, sir, Pastor Matthew said this is so let's do more on it today. That's what we prayed on yesterday. Okay. Yes, sir. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Okay, today is the today is twenty third. Yes, today is the court day. Uh, okay. okay. Yes. This century. We are preaching. Thank you so much this morning. We glorify that is you are what you are and what you continue to be we want to honor your name because of how you answered prayer thank you because of how you've answered previous prayer how you've answered prayers in different situations we are buying your name we are honoring your name we are exalting your name we are worshiping you for the privilege of god of coming before you spirit of the living god this morning you will hear us you will intervene in our lives and then you will intervene concerning this situation we want to pray about. Amen. Amen. There will be testimony Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. At this time, we want to begin to give thanks to God this morning. Let's begin to worship the name of the Lord and exalt him. Let's Father, we worship, we bless, we reference your name. Oh, let's lift his name. For your goodness and kindness to us. Father, we thank you. You are God. We are God's name. We are God's name. We are again to be able to glory, honor, and we shall thanks be beyond to your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Worship him, worship him. Father, we want to bless your name for your faithfulness. We thank name. you for your Amen. Amen. We want to give thanks to God for our family. We want to thank God for the good. We want to thank God for the mighty provision. Just many, many things. Give thanks to God for many, many things He's doing in your life and family. I want to worship and bless your name for God for the good things to be doing in my life. God, for all the Thank great you for and... your hand upon my family. I thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children. Thank you for myself. Oh Lord, worship and bless your name. Worship glory, honor, adoration, and thanksgiving be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we adore your name for the great and marvelous things you'll be doing. We well, thank you because of everything, O oh Lord, we worship Jesus. the name, be that exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, this morning is going to be a very serious agreement prayer. All the prayers we shall spend time to pray about, we shall be taking promises from scriptures, and we trust the Lord that the scripture cannot be broken. I want to share a testimony of something i was uh, i was part i was a uh, part of some years ago uh a a father was killed i mean the reason for this testimony is to make us understand the power of agreement prayer the power of agreement prayer and we are going to do what we call agreement prayer this morning and as we pray there is no way God will not hear from heaven. I have seen the power of agreement in prayer. I have seen uh, how 
if one agrees in prayer. That's why I'd always, uh, I've always uh, pleaded, and that's why I've always desired that we should be one, we should be united, so that uh, we're not just coming together and then this pastor is of his opinion, his divergent opinion, this other pastor is on his own, that one is on his own, and we are not united. If it is like that, you will discover how the devil, uh, how the prayer will not be so mighty and effective. But when we are united, his concern is my concern, my concern is his concern, their concern is my concern, and when we are united like that and we come together to pray, how forceful, how mighty, how powerful that prayer will be. So this day, it happened that the this man, the NMPC staff actually, he was killed in his own house. So when they killed him, and I know him because he was my district, we were in the same district. So it was that's many years ago anyway. But I'm coming somewhere. So, and this man happened to be on the wheelchair, but I don't know how, uh, what I don't know is that whether he got job like that with the, on the wheelchair or he wasn't like born like that because I didn't ask all of those things then. I just met him in that district with that state, with that situation. So, boy, he's a big man, a big man, but he was on wheelchair. And uh, so eventually, so the closest the uh, first uh, leader to him happened to be someone very dear to me, our Zona leader then who became a pastor. No, it's late now. Uh, so when he was killed, and that's how they got this our leader uh, arrested. Now they got him arrested because they felt you know these police people they don't want to know whether you're a pastor or a leader as long as. Maybe the person is the last call or the person is closed and all that. So that's how they arrested him. And they took him away. So and we knew that there's no way there is no way on earth he could have done something like that. Kill Brother Charles. How will he have done? How will he have killed Brother Charles? So we came to church. When we came to church, leader, but this one, this one is not uh, let's leave it for the youth alone to pray. Adults, every we came together. When we fire prayer to heaven, in fact, that day, that day was like that day when they said, and when the disciple pray and the prayer was shaking, I saw, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, that people like all those kind of prayer, you pray with both tears, with passion, with pain, with agony, with everything, with holy anger and everything. Hey, the person that killed the the, the 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 man was his son. It was his son that killed him, mm. and the, and that's how he was apprehended. That prayer was so hot. How could he have entered an NPC estate, kill the father, and he was not caught, escape, and all of that? But <laughs> he couldn't escape forever. He could not because. The oddness of that prayer alone said can cause wala. And then it was apprehended and all of that. That's how they released uh, our pastor, uh, our leader, and all that. So, and there's a way God will switch into action when we make prayer. Now, I want to read Acts chapter 12. Sometimes you hear some believer, they yell, they will say, yeah. Let the will of God be done. Uh, let the way uh, God understand. There are people who are suffering what God will not want them to suffer, but because they have not insisted on the issue. I, I think I've, that, that's why the prayer this morning, that we are insisting on something. We are not, uh, we are not saying, uh, oh God, desire. If God, eh, 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 eh. We are insisting on the will of God to be, to be performed. Let's see it. Let's see it. Acts chapter 12, verse 1. Now, about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to verse certain of the church, and he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. So he killed James. The church at this time kept quiet. Nothing was done. God's servant is going to the court today. It will not be right. We do not pray. So the church kept quiet. The leader kept quiet. The apostle kept quiet. Now, in verse 5, and Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. Now, he, he apprehended Peter again. 
and the goal was to keep Peter after Easter, because after Easter, he will be brought out from the prison, and he will kill him just as he has done. If the church had not risen, well, maybe they would have killed Peter. Because actually, it was a prayer. Because look at it now. He said, Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. But see the surprising thing. He said, but prayer was made. That word, prayer made. It, prayer was manufactured without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Why would God not send angel? There are situations, there are points where we pray. And that's why this morning... I encourage leaders and pastors and everyone on the on the call to really, really pray. And it was because the church this time woke up and they, how, how can it be? How can one, one child of the devil erode and begin to vest the church and we are quiet? How can it be that somebody come to another person's house, stayed for years, and you are not still inflicting pain on that person. How could it be that the good thing had been done to an individual and you are turning the good thing now to be something negative that you are even inflicting pain and sorrow and tear. We're not praying with anger. We're not praying with anger, but we are very angry at the devil. We are very angry at the situation. Not angry at person, but angry at the devil and this situation. And that's why this morning is brought with only anger and pain and agony. Sometimes when my wife hears, and she will want to find out how far the case, and then I will give her a report. She will feel so bad, she will feel so, and sometimes she will, she will be forced to make one statement. And then I will have to, no, 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 don't say that. Because out of that pain, pain, how could someone just inflict pain? on someone that have done you good. That's why this morning, we want to go before God. Oh, for me, let me adore her. For me, like Bara, oh, Baba. For me, let me adore her. Come and share me, Lord, you go. For me, let me adore her. Oh, Baba. For me, let me adore her. Come and share me, Lord, you go. Pastor Bunny, with that song he's saying, give me a... Uh, yeah, do that. Oh, yeah. Give me power. Give me this. Spirit I want to pray this morning that God will hear us. I want to pray this morning that God will hear us. We pray. Amen. Deliver him, deliver him, deliver him, O oh Lord, by your power, by your power. Deliver him, O oh Lord, deliver him, deliver him, Lord. Deliver him, O Lord. Deliver him, O Lord. Deliver him, God. Deliver him, O Lord. By your power, Father. Deliver him, O Lord. I want to pray that supernatural deliverance. Psalm 44, verse 4. Thou art my king, O God, command deliverances for Jacob. I want to pray God will command deliverances. Deliverances for Pastor Matthew Lacamo. Let it happen today. Mighty deliverance. We cannot be quiet. We cannot be silent. That the supernatural deliverance. Deliverance from heaven. Deliverance from above. Divine deliverance. Supernatural deliverance. Extraordinary deliverance. Deliver him from 
strange cases. Deliver from strange accusations. Deliver from chapter 31 in verse 11 jeremiah 31 verse 11 for the lord has redeemed jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he for the lord had redeemed pastor matthew akamo and have ransomed him who want to pray supernatural redemption god we deliver him from every power strong, whatever stronger power, whatever they are dog, whatever maneuvering, manipulation. The Bible says for the Lord has redeemed Jacob. Here it is Pastor Matthew Lacamo, no longer Jacob. Oh Lord God, let there be redemption. Today, redemption. Today, redemption. Today, redemption. Amen. 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 Father, we pray that you are by your son this morning today. In the name of Jesus, we tell you. He might have come in that position of Jacob with pain. That is true. He did not have He did not have He did not He not He on the end of his life, on the end of the people that God got against him, Jesus Amen. Every evil altar that has been erected against God's servant and concerning this king, that altar will catch fire. Evil Amen. altar, go back to your sender. Evil altar, go back to your sender. Go your sender, I said, go back to your sender, evil water, go back to your sender, evil water, go back to your sender, go back to your sender, evil water, go back to your sender, go back to your go back to your sender, 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 go Deuteronomy chapter 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7. I'm waiting verse 5. Deuteronomy chapter 7. Verse 5. The Bible says, Thou shall ye deal with them, but thou shall ye deal with them, it shall destroy their altars. Amen. 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 And break down their images, and cut down their ghosts, and burn their governing images with fire. 
every evil altar speaking negativity against God's servant and concerning this situation in the name of Jesus, that altar, if it's coming from any white garment, any candle burning, any mummy water spirit, maneuvering thing, whatever power, whatever gang, whatever maneuvering, the altar, if it's speaking, whoever is behind the altar, God's fire will visit. In the name Amen. of Jesus, that altar will catch fire. That altar will catch fire. That altar will catch fire. The Lord of heaven will come before your throne of mercy. Man will bring every altar. No matter where the altar is, you will bring the cold. No matter where the altar is, no matter where the altar is. Jesus name. Amen. One more, one more warfare prayer before I switch the prayer. Prayer as if when Kedas. After this one, I will switch the pattern of the prayer. I'm reading quickly from God's word, and they want to take this to God in prayer in the name of Jesus. We want to read in 1 Samuel chapter 2, in verse 10. 1 Samuel 2, 10. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the honor of his anointed. The scripture talks about uh, the adversary of the Lord being broken to pieces here. The adversary of God's servant, they will be dealt with mercilessly in Jesus' name. And, Amen. Uh, you know, it is possible, very much possible, the people of the world, they can be very funny. They want to one go their way. They want to manipulate things. They want to do this. Maybe they have come together to manipulate something and manipulate situation. But we don't care whatever the manipulation is. And that's why Isaiah chapter 8 verse 9 tells us, Associate yourself, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Give ye all ye of our country. Guard yourself, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Guard yourself and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together and she is to come to naught. Speak the word and it shall not stand. For God is with us. Hallelujah. God is with Amen. us. Amen. Amen. Counsel they have taken together, it shall come to naught. Whatever Amen. they have spoken, it shall not stand because God is with us. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? <laughs> Thank you. 
Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Now we are switching the prayer now. The Lord Jesus was speaking and he told the disciple that they should not bother or worry uh, what they will say when the hour comes and the Holy Ghost will speak to them and speak in them and all of that. The spirit of their father want to pray the right words, the right word to speak at the right time, the right question to answer. In the law court, what they deal with, they deal with facts, they deal with evidence and all that. But whatever demonic and evil evidence they want to present, that is not true. Already we have scattered that and we have destroyed that. But now we want to pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will give God's servant the right answer to the right question. That the Lord God will guide them today. He will not be nervous. He will be all right. He will be okay himself. The Lord will guide uh, Akiomi if he's going to be there himself. That the God of heaven will take absolute control in the law court today. Everything will be done amicably to the glory of Jesus. And we shall testify. <laughs> Hallelujah. We shall testify. Okay. Hallelujah. We shall testify. Shall we pray? Father and ever will come before the throne of mercy. We thank God to know you have answered us. We are now praying for our brother. We come before the jury, before the jury. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will put the right words in the name of Jesus. We pray, O pray, oh Lord, that you will show everything. You will show compose. You will not speak things. 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 Amen. Uh, pastors, I want us to understand that prayer I just led now. Let me let me show us a scripture. I was taking that prayer point again. Uh, you know, you know, in a law court, generally, some people would have said something and realized that what they said uh weren't true. And now to do restitution becomes difficult. By so doing, some people can close the gate of heaven against themselves. By and they were not, they may not even be planning to lie. They may not be planning to tell. Of course, of course, they may not even be planning to tell lies. For example, I went to a particular school last week to minister, and then and I and I I gave, I was ministering already on the assembly last week, just last week, and I was telling the young people how okay. Uh, before I got married, I used to come to the school to minister, and I also made another statement again. Then I had finished ministering, and the Lord took control and everything, and I was going, coming back home, and I was reminded of something on the road. What? It didn't dawn on me. So I realized that, no, that the other thing I added in the course of my talking was after I had gotten married, not before marriage. So I told myself, as I'm going this week, that will be rectified. And I spoke to God. I will, it has to be rectified. So things like that. But there are people who will just overlook things. And they will just say, I beg you, she don't take, don't take. And God required the things that are past. And that's how people complicate their going to heaven. They complicate it by things they do and they fail to confess. So we don't want issue to become complicated, whereby somebody will not be battling with confession of sin here and there. The Holy Ghost will guide him. I want to read the scripture. In Psalm 141, verse uh, 3. Psalm 141, verse 3. Yes. Set a watch. O oh Lord, before my mouth, keep the door of my lips. Set a watch, O oh Lord, before my mouth, 
keep the door of my lips. We want to pray this scripture will be reality upon Pastor Matthew. Do you know something? Why they are lying against you? Out of no, nowhere, emotion can descend on you and you can utter things that you will regret later. But not for him. It will not be for him. It will not, no matter how you want to make him to be angry, it will not be for him. God will set a watch over his mouth and keep the door of his sleep. And then when he needs to open his mouth, they will open it in wisdom. Shall we pray? Over his mouth. And of course, we too will pray this prayer that God will set a watch over our mouth and keep the door of our lips. The name of Jesus. Amen. I want to pray for the children. The I I explain because I, I, I can say that I'm a trained, I'm a trained the uh, how do I put it now? I'm a trained the uh what do you call these people? For now, trauma, trauma informed person. This is what I mean. By the grace of God, to a large extent, I can relate with people who are traumatized and know exactly how to discuss with them. A lot of people, for example, in Nigeria now are highly traumatized. And you can tell when somebody is under the power of trauma, when he's traumatized. Some people think they are LD, they are not LD. They are traumatized. And then that somebody is LD, able body, and all of that does not mean that he's not sick. He might be sick, seriously sick emotionally. As a result of what that happened, Nigerian majority of people are traumatized in Nigeria now. A lot of people, husband, wife, children, because of the situation. Now, but that's not the prayer now. The prayer now is for the children. In a home where you have things like this, there could be some thing they that will be going on in the hands of those children. And those things will not be palatable. Different thoughts running through their minds. Different thoughts running through their mind. When they're in the midst of their friends, when in school, they're alone. Different, different thing. And sometimes those things become like a culture in the future that except God intervene in their life. That's why I, I, I saw a movie last week, myself and my family, where the, the, the girl concluded she was not going to be married. She just, why? Because of what she saw. What did she see? It was terrible. It was terrible. I mean, I don't want to go into the details of the movie. And it took God, it, it took a very serious issue for that girl to pardon, to forgive the father for what the father did to them. Running, you know, leaving uh, the country, going abroad, marrying another woman, and not only that, abandoning them until the wife die, until the daughter, uh, the son join bad this thing and die, remaining mm. only the girl. It took that girl grace to forgive the father. I mean, it took that girl serious. Even when she became born again, she found it so difficult. She was completely shattered and battered. Who want to pray for angel and kill me? The God of kill them. Where they have been traumatized, where they have been down emotionally. Then God of heaven. All these children, oh Lord. 
Kado me an angel, the God of God, will be the judge in the name of Jesus. We only need to comfort them, to comfort them, to stand by them and call it back in the name of Jesus. We are going to meet an angel. 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 Amen. Amen. We 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 believe the Lord that God has answered, but they say pray. I want to. Okay. I want us to understand that uh, if if we call someone a pastor, it's still a human. Being. It's not. It's not a spirit. It's a human blood in him. And uh, Pastor Matthew had gone through a lot. And uh, one of the things I usually tell him, even the few days ago, I was it yesterday. Which day now? I had to send scripture to him, even when he sent me something. And that scripture, if he read it, he would have seen that the first one has to do it. That Isaiah 50 verse 7, for the Lord God will help you, therefore shall you not be confounded. Therefore have I set my faith like a flint, and I know I shall not be ashamed. Mm -hmm. And I also see Isaiah 41 verse 10 to, I think, 14, talking about I will help you, I will help you, I will help you. I will help you appear like three to four times in that scripture I sent. And uh, why, why do I? Because sometimes I will just want him to relax. Because I know how emotionally, uh, you, you know, uh, there's a family I'm praying with now. Uh, Pastor Peter, you will remember, I think I share, I, I told you one particular family, he, the man is he's wealthy, retired from Shell, you know that. But just having a woman somewhere, ex, and all of that. And now I was asking the wife, because I started praying with the wife again, and, I mean now. And then, ah, that is the relationship now. Oh, eh, it's called their bot. They, you know the bot now. They bot. There is no any kind of this in the in the other room. Nothing. And for you to just be like that, like a man for years, like years and all that, there will be a lot of thinking. And you know what thinking is associated with? Uh, we have our mommy here, I think, in us. And they associated with a lot of sicknesses, a lot. We want to pray for Pastor Matthew, the God of heaven, we heal him. Whatever mm -hmm. that has been told, that is not good in his system. The miraculous God, in the name of Jesus, by the mm -hmm. virtue of anointing this morning, he will be healed. Amen. I don't we be healed. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, what is our promise? So long, it's your son. You know what is passing through now. The body is here. Father, let us provide the body of God. Father, 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 I want to pray. Let me look out the various people there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So for the various people who have joined in the name of Jesus, I ask God in heaven that your desire will be given to you. Amen. And if you see Amen. Emergency miracle, an emergency intervention. If yours is urgent and you need it very quickly today or you need it this week. 
I speak as a man under God in the name of Jesus Christ. May it be given unto you. Amen. I want to ask the Lord the last prayer point that the Lord will shield our family from evil. Our children Amen. are and come in, they will be preserved from evil Amen. men and women. No calamity Amen. in our home, no calamity in our family, Amen. no calamity in my wife, no calamity Amen. in my husband, no calamity Amen. in my children. Over Amen. to Pastor. Amen. 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 Before I round up, I want to say, Sister Okweyemi, last week I promised getting in touch with you, but I searched your number throughout. I hey, could yeah. not find it. So ah, this morning, sorry. after the prayer, just send on the group. It's Good okay, morning, sir. my pastors. God bless you, sir. It's okay, sir. I will do so. Just, just send message on the group. Good morning, okay. my pastors. So I'll be able to get, God, I don't have your number on my phone. It's so okay, I'll be able sir. to get the number from there and do as you have requested. It's okay, then sir. I want yes. to share this testimony to reassure us of our prayer this morning. Hmm. Before we started, Pastor shared a testimony of a brother that was killed in worry. And a pastor was arrested and the church came together and prayed. And after that prayer, the son gave up himself. The, uh, the son was caught. That was the son of the brother that killed him, and that pastor was released. Something oh, yeah. happened here in Kurodu some time ago. You know, this uh, there was a time about two years ago that Badu was really in Kurodu. Uh, yes, Badu. They, they will kill the the father, the mother, everybody, the children, everybody they meet in the house. They will kill. They were doing that from house to house, from house to house like that almost on daily basis. And, and now a Dipala family was killed. In fact, when the, the, this man had his mother around and he was supposed to bring the mother to the house, but he said after the Easter retreat that year, that uh, they would go and bring the mother. That was why they did not bring the mother. The mother should have been in that house. Mm -hmm. Now they came into the house, this man, other the man, one of them is a prayer warrior. One of the couples, one is a prayer warrior, the other one is an usher. But I don't know whether the man or the woman now how, so I don't give a false report. But one of them was a prayer warrior, the other one was an usher. And they had only one son. And that son was writing his wayek. And that day, they killed the man, killed the wife, and killed the son. Jesus. And now, the boy was supposed to write an exam. So the children did not see him to come and write the exam. So it was after the exam, the children took to the house to say, oh, what happened? This boy did not come to school, only to find out that their door was open, all of them were killed. Now, this thing got to the knowledge of the church, and we went there. Just to tell you, to reassure you about the prayer we are praying this morning and the power of prayer. We went to that house. In fact, I was the one that led the security team to the place. When I got to the place and I saw the obituary, a father, a mother, and a son printed in obituary placed on the wall, I burst into tears. I was crying. But at the point, I just pitched myself and said, you are the one leading this team to this place when you are doing like what would your team do so i quickly clean up my eyes and i got comforted the church prayed we cried mm -hmm. unto god you know what happened two weeks later all those badu they walked by themselves back to the same street and they were all caught mm -hmm. they came on their own back to the same street dressed in their regalia and how they used to operate they came back to the same street, all of them were caught. And I bet mm. that was the end of Badu. 
in the Kurudu since that time. Nothing like that happened again. So I want to reassure you this morning that we have come, we have prayed. We have come, we have prayed. You know, when like the Bible passage our pastor read, when James was taken, the church did not do anything. He was killed. Peter was taken and the church cried unto God. They were there praying when Peter came to knock the door. This morning we have prayed, and I believe God has answered us. Praise yes, the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Our Father, we want to worship, we want to bless, we want to reference your name for the privilege to be among the called ones at this time. We thank you for the privilege of coming together to pray. You said your word, if two or three of us, we agree on earth as touching anything, you will grant it unto us so that our joy will be filled. This morning, Pastor Matthew is in the U.S. Pastor Bani is in Germany. Pastor Yomi is in Wari. I am in Lagos. We have come together from all over, everywhere, in agreement to pray about our pastor's family, Pastor Matthew Akomu, who the wife has taken to court all these years. Lord, this morning, today, they are appearing again in the court. Mm -hmm. And we have come before you, Lord. We have said, enough is enough. Yes, Father, Lord. Day, we pray at that 9 a.m., when they will appear in that court, Father, we pray that you will take charge of this matter and you resolve this matter mm -hmm. once and for all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every altar that has been set up Amen. against this family, whether in the Christian, whether in the White Family Church, no matter where they are gathered, oh Lord, the name we have said, if they shall gather because of us, you shall you will scatter them because of us. That is what we scatter every one of them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, oh Lord, you see upon my Zion shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob will possess that possession. This morning we pray that the house of Matthew and Komu will possess that possession. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, in heaven, let that testimony I shared. Those Badu that come to kill and take away, they on their own came back to the same street after two weeks when we have cried unto heaven. And that matter was solved once and for all. Since that time, no more Badu in Ikurudu. Ikurudu is now very peaceful. In fact, I come in after two sometimes to Ikurudu, drive through and come to my house. Nothing, nobody harasses you. Father in heaven, if you could do that, Lord, this morning we pray in unity of faith with me and my pastors and my brethren. Oh, Lord, resolve this matter once and for all so that peace will return back to the family of Pastor Matthew Akomo in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyone that has said over my dead body will, they, will this matter be resolved? Oh, Lord God in heaven, I am praying for such a one that you take him off the way so that yes. this matter will be resolved. In yes. this prayer, we will see this matter resolved. If we see this matter resolved, yes. I will know that there is God in heaven that pastor and come cry yes. to, that we cry to every now and then, that we come and put down his head and say, truly, yes. glory be to you in heaven, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord. We believe in you, Lord. Oh, yes. You'll be answering us, not today. Yes. I remember when we were in Makuko, and on a Sunday night, evening, I was called upon that one of our brother was dying. And mm -hmm. I said, no, say something else. He cannot die. God has not told me we die. It's my son in the Lord. He cannot die. How will he die? And that night, we planned, because uh, something happened to him, uh, the appendix ruptured in the stomach and he fell down the rushing to, to loot hospital. And I said, 
gather all my brethren, we gather all our youth then. We all rush to a pastor. We say, Pastor, please give us your car. You have a car. We want to go to loot. And the pastor looked at us and said, My brethren, that is the car there. The key is with me. I could give it to you. But you said your brother was rushed to the hospital and you are rushing after him. Why are you rushing after him? Why not go and send your prayers? And tomorrow you cannot go and see him. We say, Thank you, sir. No offense taken. We all went back. To, to a place and we had a night vision that, that night. We mm. prayed through till around five o'clock when we said amen. We all moved out to the bus stop, take a bus to the hospital, only to find out the hospital was under lock and key strike. Mm. But my brother, you know what happened? While we were praying, the parent got to the hospital. The place was under lock and key strike. Nobody could go in, nobody could come out. They put the sun down, the, the, the vehicle, the, uh, maybe they didn't pay enough money. The Tazima dropped them in front of the hospital. The father and the mother, they were terrible and seraphim. They were crying. They were crying that, oh, is this how we are going to watch our son die without nothing happen? Do you know what God did? God sent an angel. An angel came. How did that know it was an angel? Listen to this testimony. The angel came and said, why are you crying, daddy and mommy? They said, look at our son, he's dying. He said, no, your son will not die. Take up your son. He now described a, a private hospital around that area and said, go like this, go like this, go like this. You will see an hospital. The doctors, the nurses are waiting for him now to operate him. Mm. They have not seen the patient. The theater was ready. The doctors were ready. The nurses were ready. Take mm. your son there. By the time they took the boy, and they told they say, oh, let them turn back and say thank you. They didn't see anybody again, but and people that were under panic, they continued and to yeah. move. They threw yeah. the direction. They got to the hospital. The hospital did not ask for anything. Mm. Oh. They did not make any inquiry. Oh, what is his name? How long has this, this been happening? You have to do a deposit. You have to do the, nothing, no question. As soon mm. as they got to the hospital, they just took the boy from them. They removed mm. the dresses put the uh, operation, the theater mm. dressing mm. on him, and roll him into the, uh, yeah. into the theater, remove the thing in less than, according to the parents, in less than 15 minutes, they brought the thing that God got in his stomach in the nylon bag and said, this is what I wanted to be your son. Oh, wow. praise Thank the you. Lord. Hallelujah. My brethren, oh. prayer works. Yes, when yes. When we trust in the Lord. God has us prayer. Lord, Prayer yeah. work. This morning, I want to reassure you mm. that God has answered our prayers. Oh, yes. Amen. Matter, we come back to share testimony Amen. on this Amen. platform today. In Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we just want to worship you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord we just want to bless you. We want to reference you. Because oh, yeah. you know that prayer answering God. Oh, yes. We will answer God, not today. You have mm. been asking our prayers, and this mm. one also, we mm. believe and know mm. that you have answered. Yes. Say, glory, honor, adoration, and thanks be to your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I lift up other brethren, Lord, into your hands that has uh, joined us this morning to say this prayer on behalf of our pastor. You said in your word that he that giveth a cup of water. To a prophet in the name of the Lord will not go without his reward. None of us this morning will go without our rewards in Jesus' name. Amen. That area will be looking at you saying, God, when are you going to do this for me? Oh Lord, when is this going to happen? <clears throat> Father, this morning I pray because we have come to pray in unity of faith. We answer every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory, honor, and also thank you be unto your name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Let us just share the grace. The, the greatest grace, grace of our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, the power of Lord God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. So, please, sister, just send on the group. It's Good okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, ma'am. God bless you, sir. Love you, my hand.